Peggy 16. So Might and Magic Heroes, or Heroes of Might and Magic as it was called originally, is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. The first one was released in 1995. So how do you feel as a creator of the franchise? It's absolutely amazing to, to think that it's been 20 years since we made the first Heroes game and that uh, they're still being played and uh, new ones are being created today. Just terrific. Can you tell us basically how Heroes came to be, how it was born? I was a big fan of strategy games as well as role-playing games. I really wanted a strategy game that you could start, play through, and uh, finish and win, and then start over and try different strategies and tactics and different difficulty settings, a little bit of RPG. It was fun to just pull all that together in a fantasy theme. In your opinion, what is a magic recipe that made Heroes so appealing and even addictive to, to players during this two decades. I think the passion of the development team uh, working on the game was a big part of the magic that came out of it. We all loved working on it and we loved playing it and I think that really came through in the quality of the end result on the product. There's a funny but maybe not so surprising coincidence. On Euro 7, the six factions we have, uh, two of them have been actually voted by the community, are essentially the six faction of Heroes 2. In your opinion, what makes these six factions so magical? I know when we were creating the first few games, we had a lot of debates on how many factions and where the creatures and the characters would belong. And for some reason, the six groupings just turned out to be a magic number. It just made sense from a strategy point of view. One thing we've said about Euro 7 is that it's a bit of a best of Euros, basically our favorite features and, and ideas from all the past installments of Euros. What are your favorite features of the Euros games? I'd have to say a well-balanced game that I can play over and over again, with a lot of difficulty settings, beautifully uh, created, and of course, having an editor where people can put themselves into the game. Looking back all these years, you, you've really been witness of the evolution of the video game industry. What's your opinion on video games nowadays? It's really been pretty cool to watch the evolution of games over this long period and to see something like Heroes and White Magic continue to be played this long. I really can't tell you how great that feels. So right now we are in the last print before releasing Might and Magic Heroes 7. Did you have the chance to see what game I was shaping up to be? I'm obviously very excited to see it come out. And like with the previous Ubisoft games, I've been waiting to actually play the final game is the way I like to do it. So, can't wait to play it. I'm very excited. Is there anything you'd like to add, a message for the fans? Or... Of course, thank you to the fans for all their support and they keep playing the games. That's just wonderful. Thank you.